Hello, hello! I know I haven't made a video in a long time, I've just, life's been life in, but right now I had a little bit of a time, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get my fragrance combinations for July of 2023 out for you guys. So, to start off the month, I used Bora Bora Citrus Surf, which is an amazing citrus scent. It's like citrus, has a vanilla in it, I do believe, but it's just, it's very citrus heavy, but it's like fun and happy. I just love it. And I decided to pair it with Aquatic Vanilla by Dossier, which is their dupe for Vanilla Vibes by Julia it Has a Gun, which is just a salty vanilla. So I feel like it kind of toned down the citrus a little bit, but it still made it like beachy. It was really good. I love this one. So next up, I paired Bora Bora Citrus Surf with Sunset Fantasy by Britney Spears. Bora Bora Citrus Surf is really like a beast mode fragrance. It's super strong. Like if you've smelled Sun Wash Citrus, then you know how strong it is because it pretty much smells exactly the same. Um, Sunset Fantasy has mandarin and raspberry and peach and vanilla and amber. So like it's a like fruity citrus vanilla kind of scent it's really pretty and so I kind of hoped it would like tone down the citrus surf a little bit and add a little bit more fruitiness to it and it was really nice it, I did have to spray a lot though not gonna lie <laughs> so next I moved on to pink watermelon blast which I have talked about a million times it is my favorite watermelon fragrance that Bath and Body Works has ever made it smells just like watermelon candy it is absolutely delicious. It's super strong. It's sweet. It's just perfection. And I decided to pair it with Among the Clouds, also by Bath & Body Works, which is just a berries and vanilla scent, but it is so sweet. I absolutely love Among the Clouds. I know they got a lot of hate when it came out. Everybody's like, oh, it's basic and blah, blah, blah. Well, then I guess I'm basic because it is right up my alley. Like, I absolutely adore it. And together, this was absolutely amazing. Like, it just kind of gave more sweetness and like a little bit more fruit like it was just so nice and I absolutely enjoyed it so next up I pair my pink watermelon blast with mimic 52 strawberry milk this is their dupe for crybaby by Melanie Martinez I've never actually smelled the original one but I do know that this one smells amazing like it smells like strawberries and it's a little powdery and it's got caramel in it like it's just absolutely beautiful it's sweet it's really nice and together with pink watermelon blast it was it was great I know people call Pink Watermelon Blast like a juvenile scent, which I think is kind of stupid. Like, you shouldn't be boxed into, like, a certain scent just because of your age. Like, wear what you want, when you want, what makes you happy. That's my philosophy. And together, this was really nice. Like, it kind of just added more depth to it. Kind of took away from, like, the super sweetness in it. Like, it was just, it was really, really pretty. I liked it. My last pairing for Pink Watermelon Blast is Cotton Candy De Dua by Dua. And this is such an amazing scent. Like, it does smell just like cotton candy, but it's like grown-up cotton candy. Like, I don't know exactly what's in it that makes it smell grown-up, but it doesn't just smell like straight sweet. Like, you know, how Boardwalk Taffy smells. Like, it, it smells like that, but it's got something extra, and it's absolutely amazing. I know it's one of their top-selling perfumes, and I can absolutely see why. And together with Pink Watermelon Blast, like, who doesn't love watermelon cotton candy? Like, it was perfect. I loved it. So the next scent that I decided to use is Key West Coconut Water and Melon. So this is a scent that came out in 2021, I do believe. And not too long after I bought it, in my mind, I decided that it smelled like celery. And so now I can't unsmell that. Like, to me, every time I wear it, it just smells like celery. I don't know why, but I digress. So I decided to use my Ocean de Joya with it. It is a florally, watery, has a little bit of fruit in the beginning type of scent. It's really pretty. Like when it dries down, it's mostly just like a watery floral. And so I decided that Key West would, you know, kind of give it a little bit more sweetness. Like it was really pretty together. Ocean de Joya is strong though. I do believe it. It's a lot stronger than the Key West was. But it was still nice. So next, I decided to pair Key West with my Yara Taos. This is their newest fragrance. It's actually really pretty. It has a mango in it. It's definitely, like, fruity. It has the Paco Rabanne fame vibes, but I feel like this one's more mango-y than that one is. And I really like it. So together, this was really awesome. It was just kind of like a fruity, happy piece of celery. <laughs> just kidding. It was, it was nice. I liked it. It was fun. 
Next, I moved on to Wrapped in Vanilla, which is one of the best scents ever. It smells just like vanilla frosting. Like, it's just so perfect. I love this scent. Like, I really hope they bring it back this winter because it was a hit last year. But, you know, sometimes they just don't care. <laughs> so, I decided to pair it with Gingham Vibrant, which is blackberries and vanilla. And this was so pretty. I just love Gingham Vibrant. I cannot believe that they discontinued Gingham Vibrant. Like, what is wrong with these people? Who is in charge over there? So, out of the three that came out, like, if I had to get rid of one, it would have been Gingham Fresh. I mean, I like them all. They were all absolutely beautiful. But I would have, you know, kicked Gingham Fresh off the island for sure. I don't know. Gingham Vibrant is beautiful. It is so pretty. And together with the Wrapped in Vanilla, oh, it was just like a sweet vanilla blackberry bubble and it was beautiful i loved it so next i paired my wrapped in vanilla with tobacco touch by mason alhambra this is their dupe for tom ford's tobacco vanille i do believe i've never smelt that one so i have no idea how close this is to it but this one is very strong like the tobacco is super strong it's a sweet tobacco kind of reminds me of like a clove cigarette like how those smell a little spicy um but i don't know if i love this scent like it's it's kind of masculine i would definitely have to pair it with a vanilla to kind of lighten it up and sweeten it and like i might try it with like bonfire bash and see how that goes i don't know i'm still on the fence about this one then for my last pairing with wrapped in vanilla i decided to use gold couture by juicy couture which I know I've talked about a few times on this channel because I love this perfume. It just smells like sweet and pretty and caramely. Like, it's absolutely delicious. And together with the wrapped in vanilla, it was just like a caramely vanilla dream. It was really great. Loved it. So the next scent that I moved on to is Grapefruit Frosé. I love this scent. Like, Bath & Body Works doesn't give us grapefruit scents very often, but I really wish that they would because I just love grapefruit scents. They're so nice. And this one is no exception. I love this one. I bought this in 2021, I do believe. And I just, I'm finally getting the chance to use it. Since I've been trying to like focus on my body creams, like all my sets that only have lotions have kind of just got pushed to the side. But now it was, it's time to shine and finally get used. I decided to pair it with Sweet on the Outside by Finery, which is their dupe for Eilish by Billie Eilish, which I also love. So this was just like a really pretty vanilla grapefruit scent like it was absolutely beautiful i loved it so the next scent that i paired with grapefruit frosé is vanilla grapefruit by la vanilla so when i bought this perfume this was the scent that i had planned to use it with and i finally got to use it together and it was absolutely beautiful so grapefruit frosé is not super sweet in my opinion but it's still really nice so i'm just adding more sweetness to it with the va la vanilla vanilla grapefruit so if you smell La Vanilla, just plain vanilla, which I also have, this smells exactly like that, just with grapefruit added to it. So it's definitely the same DNA, threw in some grapefruit. It was nice. La Vanilla is not a super, like, gourmand type of vanilla. It has, like, some woodiness to it. It's kind of a little bit more deep. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely, like, a grown-up vanilla, and I love that. Like, this was so nice together. So my last pairing for Grapefruit Frosé is Tea's Creme Cloud by Victoria's Secret. This does smell pretty much exactly like Cloud by Ariana Grande. I do feel this one is a little bit sweeter, so I do prefer it over Ariana Grande's, which I'm not a fan of Ariana Grande's Cloud. Like, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not a scent that I'm drawn to. Like, I know people are obsessed with it, and that's great, but, like, it's just not that for me. But this was really nice together. I mean, I think that Tea's Creme Cloud can go with anything. Kind of just how Cloud can go with anything. Like, it's just a very versatile scent. And I'll probably have no problem going through this bottle, but it's definitely not something that I would seek out again. So next, I moved on to Strawberry Pound Cake, which everybody knows is my favorite. I love this scent. I think it's perfect. It's strawberries and whipped cream and cake. It's just beautiful sweet and delicious. I decided to pair with Oh So Sexy, which is actually my favorite perfume by Victoria's Secret, which is just like a fruity whipped cream vanilla scent. And it's just beautiful. Like, I just love it. And together, this was so nice. Like, I just, ah, I was so happy this day. I just loved every minute of it. So my next pairing, I decided to pair my Burberry Her Elixir with 
strawberry pound cake and this was amazing so i love burberry her elixir i have the original burberry her and i don't particularly love that scent and i was kind of disappointed because everybody would talk about how it smelled like strawberries and it was so sweet and then i got it and i was just like where <laughs> but then i smelled this one and i was like there it is that is exactly what i thought the first one was gonna smell like and i adore this perfume and together this was so nice i love this so my next pairing for strawberry pound cake is strawberry pound cake perfume like how exciting is that like i've been saying for years that bath and body works need to give us a strawberry pound cake perfume because i would literally buy like 10 of them i love it I'm never going to get tired of it. They would definitely get used. But since they didn't, I have been looking on Etsy for quite a while. And I kept only being able to find strawberry pound cake body oils. And I'm like, well, I don't want a body oil. I want a perfume. And then a few months ago, I found this perfume. And I was so excited. Add to cart. You know, it was a little expensive. It was $79 for the three ounce bottle. But that's fine. I was like, I'm taking a chance. And this shop is called Made by Bloom. And it is spot on. It is absolutely amazing. It is strong. It lasts a long time. Ugh, I couldn't be happier with it. This was such a great find. I'm so excited about it. So next up, I decided to use Midsummer Dream. This is one of my favorite fragrances that Bath & Virus has come out with. It is lily, pear, and nectarine, I do believe. And it's just a really pretty scent. Like it's sweet, but it has that little bit of floral. It's not heavy, like it's perfect for the hot summer days. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I decided to pair it with Pear Ink by Juliet Has a Gun. So this is a perfume that I was actually disappointed in when I first got it. I think it's because it being a pear scent, I was expecting it to be sweet, and it's not. It's like a musky, ambery pear scent. And now that I've come to terms with it, I actually really, really like it. And I thought this was a really nice combination. This was nice. So next up, I decided to pair my Midsummer Dream with Aqua de Gioia by Giorgio Armani. This is also a fresh scent. It has lemon and mint and jasmine and I think cedar or something like that on the base notes. It's just, it's a really pretty scent. It's very fresh. I think it's, it's sweet, but not too sweet. I just thought these weren't really nice together. I had bought this back in, I think, February, and I had never used it before. So I was like, I need to use this. And this just seemed like the perfect pairing. And it was nice. So my last pairing for Midsummer Dream is Bombshell Isle by Victoria's Secret. I love Bombshell Isle. So I originally was just going to pass on it because I have a couple of the other bombshells and then the original and I'm just not crazy about them. But then they had a sale where, like, you could buy one item for 40% off. You know, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try it. And I'm so glad that I did. Like, this is such a pretty fragrance. It's like coconut. And it has, like, sea notes and tonka and sandalwood. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this paired together perfectly. Like, uh, I couldn't ask for a better fragrance. I just love this. And I just love Bombshell Isle. I have to say it. It's so good. Uh, it's amazing. So next scent that I moved on to is Pear Creme Brulee. So this is a love it or hate it scent. There are so many people that can't stand it. I am one of the ones that actually likes it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I do think that the spray smells better than the body cream. I'm not exactly sure why. But I do prefer the spray. But the dry down is just super sweet, like pear. Like, I love it. Like, it's a gourmand. It's really delicious. And I decided to pair it with Vanilla Potion by True Fragrance. So this is a cheap fragrance that I got at TJ Maxx. So I don't really know the notes of it. But it smells amazing. It reminds me a lot of Christmas cookies. Doesn't last a super long time. But, you know, it's still beautiful. So I really like this one. This one was nice. So next, I'm paired my Pear Creme Brulee with Pistachio Brulee by Gourmand Beauty. This is actually a Gourmand Beauty fragrance that I really liked. It was really nice. I mean, it was like sweet and pistachio, and there's nothing to complain about. I had already said that Gourmand Beauty scents aren't really for me because they just don't last that long. So I wouldn't repurchase it, but I'm glad that I got to use it. My last pairing for Pear Creme Brulee is the Sugar Cookie Perfume that I got off of Etsy also. This is a different vendor. This one is called Sugar Me Sweet. She has a ton of gourmand perfumes. I have quite a few of them. 
I was gonna do a video on them, but this one was really nice. So when actually when I first got it, I sprayed it. I didn't like it, but I let it sit for a while. And I feel like a lot of fragrances are like that. You have to spray them and let them sit, and then they get better with age. And that's exactly what happened with this one. And now it just smells like sweet cookies. It was really nice. And together with Pear Creme Brulee, it was just really nice. So it was good. So the next scent that I moved on to was Sparkling Plum Prosecco. I love this scent. I don't think it'll ever come back because the whole collection that it came out with was amazing. And I think it was kind of like the forgotten one in the collection. But to me, I love this scent. I think it's super pretty. And I've come to realize that I really enjoy plum scents. So this is like plum and blackberry and just like a little bit of fizziness from the Prosecco. Like it's just absolutely beautiful. It has some citrus in it. And I decided to pair it with Maud Vanilla by Ariana Grande, which I always say just smells like cloud with vanilla in it. So this is just, was nice. It was just like a plum vanilla scent. It was good. So next I paired my sparkling plum Prosecco with Charosa 40 by Sol de Janeiro which is also a plum and vanilla scent. I absolutely love this scent. It is beautiful. It is definitely one of my favorites. I think it's number two behind 71. But this was just really nice together. This one has more sweetness in it. I mean, the sparkling plum Prosecco has some citrus in it, so it's got a little bit of a bite, but the Shirosa 40 is definitely all sweet, and I love it. It was great. So my last pairing for Sparkling Plum Prosecco, I decided to use Donna Born Aroma Coral Fantasy by Valentino. This one is probably my favorite out of the ones that I have. This one is more fruity and sweet than the other ones. This one's, it's just a lot more light and has like some citrus in it. So it just, it went really well with the Sparkling Plum Prosecco, which is also sweet and citrusy. It was great. So next up, I moved on to Waikiki Beach Coconut, which is just your typical sweet beachy coconut scent. I like it. It comes out every year. I do wish that they'd bring back some of the other coconut scents that they have brought out, but until they do, this one will have to do. And I decided to pair it with Sweet Vanilla by Montal. This is like a vanilla apricot scent. It's very sweet, but it was really nice. It was just very like tropical. It was, it was a good one. I really enjoyed this. So next I decided to wear my Waikiki Beach Coconut with my Black Opium La Parfum, which is a vanilla heavy scent. This is such a beautiful perfume. I love this perfume. And so I just wanted to kind of add it to the coconut, kind of make it more sultry, like it, you know, take away some of the sweetness, like, but still have that like coconut vibe. Like it was absolutely beautiful. It was really pretty. So my last pairing for Waikiki Beach Coconut is my Coco Extreme by Comptour Set Pacifique. So this is basically just sweet coconut. It's really, really nice. It's not super strong. So I did spray a lot of it and it's also an Eau de Toilette instead of an Eau de Parfum. But, you know, it's still such a beautiful scent. And together with Waikiki, it was really nice. It was just like a whole bunch of coconut. <laughs> it was great. So the next scent that I moved on to is Bright Lemon Snowdrop, which is hands down the best gourmand lemon scent that I have ever smelled from Bath & Body Works. It is like marshmallow and lemon, vanilla. It's just so good. I know they came out with ice lemon pound cake, but it's just not the same. So I decided to pair it with my Lemon Cake Oil by Sugar Milk Co. Just to add more cakey goodness. And then I use my Soft by Owl Rehab. So this perfume opens with like a beautiful citrus scent. It has lemon and then it's sugary, but when it dries down, that lemon is completely gone, which is really sad. Like it just kind of smells like pink sugar by Aqualina, which is a nice scent, but if the lemon would stay throughout the whole fragrance, this would be like a top tier fragrance, in my opinion. Like the combination was still really nice, but I was a little disappointed. So next, I paired my Bright Lemon Snowdrop again with the Lemon Cake Oil by Sugar Milk Co. And then I used my Vanilla Cake and Lemon by Dua. So when I first got this perfume, I didn't like it. It smelled dirty to me. I don't know how to explain it. It just wasn't what I wanted it to be. But I do know that Dua fragrances, they get better as they age. So like when you first get them, you spray them, and then you let them sit. And so I'd had this one for about, mm, I think, three or four months and so I finally pulled it back out and I'm like, okay, I'm going to use it. And it actually smelled better. It still didn't smell as great as I wanted it to, but it does still smell nice. So it was, it was okay. 
So my last layering combination of the month with Bright Lemon Snowdrop, again the Lemon Cake Oil by Sugar Milk Co. And then I used my Vanille by Outreamer. So this is like the perfect layering vanilla. It is cotton candy and vanilla. It's so sweet. It's so strong. Like this was just delicious. And I love this one. So that is all my layering combinations for July. What did you guys put together last month? I know it's a little late. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!